y'all motherfuckers, I'm rich. Look at this shit. I don't know what it's for. They're trying to bribe me. They're trying to change my opinion, sway how I think about this game. And let me tell you, it would totally work. It would absolutely, what was this shit? What, oh, we can view the options? Easy. We can, we can view the player list? Easy. Man, it's so nice. These things are actually working now. See, a bribe would totally work, would 100% work on me. Were it not for this shit. See all those fucking duplicates? That's actually not too bad. It's been a while since I've seen four. Usually, like, eight duplicates is kind of the average. But as you can see, like, I'm getting plenty of nines in here. Oh, yeah, there's a full ten. I'm gonna just end right there. So usually a bribe would work on me, but the fact that that system works like that, that it's so easy to get duplicates, fuck you. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, so... I've actually tried to record two of these, and it's probably for the best that it took, you know, it, it, I, number one, I was really fucking tired, which just generally does not, because there's kind of multiple levels of tired for me, one of them, I get kind of giddy and oddly energetic, which is generally a good thing, uh, but then on the flip side of that, there's also just pure tire, where I'm just sitting here like, oh, which it, nobody likes, nobody enjoys, it's not good for anybody, and that's where I was at. But, at the same time, the matches that I saw were really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. So, um, from now on, actually, I do want to take this. I, we're just going to watch this man get beat the fuck up. I'm sorry that I got to do you like this, but I got to pick the matches where I know the good player is getting bopped. Because... The matches, every single match that I saw, that I watched, when I looked, when I tried to do the previous two, the person that the, my follow player was playing against, every single one of them just got blown back for free. It wasn't even a close match. So, I am just, we're just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna watch this man lose. So basically what I, I think I'm, for, oh shit, I should have paid closer attention to that. So, I have learned, before, prior to doing those replay theaters, I knew jack shit about Broly or Bardock. Still don't know a goddamn thing about Bardock. Every Bardock I've seen just got straight destroyed. No question whatsoever, it wasn't even close. The best that I've seen is like an auto combo, essentially. Um, good answer here. But I have learned a decent amount about Broly, but I haven't actually confirmed my suspicion that that green aura that he surrounds himself with is a persistent armor. That's what I think it is. A guard cancel just what? What? That's impossible. I need to review the tapes. I don't believe it happened. I want to get that Broly in. Good blocks. Kind of predictable offense to it. Ooh, that was nice. I think he tried to reflect, but he got caught. Um, not a whole lot of active frames on reflect, so I think he got caught after the active frames had worn off. But yeah, so I think when he surrounds himself with the green aura, as far as I can, I, I assume that is a persistent armor. I, but I don't know how it works. I don't know if, it, like for instance, Rikum when you summon him for his big wind up speech into the explosion or what <laughs> just the random 2h even he didn't expect it to work because he just immediately canceled it into the special move well like when you summon Rikum as captain ginyu and uh he has three points of armor to him that's kind of what i assume that aura is but i've never actually seen it activate nobody's ever tested it so it, that is just pure assumption on my part but yeah, Broly definitely got a lot of armor, but doesn't seem that difficult to beat, to be honest. But we'll see where it goes. Because there were a lot of people kind of... Ooh, damn, that did the mahe. A lot of people speculated Broly would be busted. I just... I, I am always... When I see a character with an enlarged hurt box, I am always suspicious of the potential quality of that character because I have seen far too often the kind of ridiculous, absurd player... Ca uh, character-specific setups that people get against big characters, against big bodies. Because, like, the same thing happened with Sentinel, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, if you don't know that story. It's one of the most infamous 
examples of how, like, you really shouldn't listen uh, to players who are demanding nerfs for a character that is, you know, it's only been a week, two weeks, whatever. You should wait and see, because early, uh, early on, people were just saying, Sentinel's busted, he's broken, he's unfair, he's gonna ruin this game, just like he borderline ruined Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Basically, like, the reason why there were so few viable characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Ooh, that's gonna do damage. Yeah, he didn't do follow-ups. If he did any follow-ups, he would be stuck at one health. Which, granted, he may as well be stuck at one health right now regardless, so... Oh, he could have killed off of that. Okay, he's gonna kill here regardless. But yeah, so if you don't know that story, there was just a lot of snap judgment from both casuals and pros alike. And Capcom, based on that feedback, quote unquote feedback, uh, they nerfed Sentinel. And within like a month, Everybody was like, okay, yeah, he has a pretty good assist, but this character's borderline useless because every single rushdown character in the game just abuses this man for free. And, yeah, so that's, that's just something that I expect whenever I see a big body character. It took me that entire match to basically explain that one little tiny thing, so, you know. So I'm hoping to see a decent Bardock because I, I've seen plenty of Broly. I don't think I've seen a good Broly yet, but like I said, every single match that I've seen, the person that I have followed just blows their opponent out of the water with absolutely zero competition. What's oops? This man appears to have quit. This man has played too much. <laughs> um, he's at like I mean he's probably at more now. Ooh. Lost to a Captain Ginyu Yamcha. I am gonna see this. He has like 1.8 million rank points right now. He's almost at one point. He was at like only 1.8 recently. Now he's almost at 1.9. I'm gonna go right after this. I'm gonna go check the rankings board because it's been like I think two days since I last looked. But two days ago, he was at about 1.8 million. Just flat right there. And the closest person to him was at like 1.42 or something similar to that. They were around 400,000 battle points behind. Mr. Hook Gang God is playing way too much. What the fuck was that hitbox? That wasn't okay. This Yamcha is hitting the shit out of buttons, which to be honest, not a bad idea in this game. That was a cross up that's fucked up. Ooh, that comp. Oh, he's getting a rejuggle. And since he got the corner... Oh, he tried to go for the dirty-ass reset. But he... I wonder if he's seen that before. Because they did play before this. This is a rank... Ooh, shit. Level 3 popping off. It's actually unfortunate for him that Vegeta's last little fireball... Um... Hit him right there. Because if it had... Well, this is the combo. This is the combo. He's snapping him out. Really? He wants the assist? That was a dirty setup! Um... But yeah, if Vegeta's assist had not actually... Ooh, gets the raw level 3! Uh, if Vegeta's assist had not hit him, he would have gotten a full unscaled punish. But if you are not aware, assists in this game scale combos extremely heavily. I don't really understand why, but because of that, he wasn't actually able to kill Yamcha. He would have been able to if he had gotten a normal punish off that level 3. The charge up guarantee the kill. I like it. I dig it. I really want to see some Captain Ginyu. This character, I will always maintain, probably has the most potential out of anybody in the cast. But. Ooh! Because of shit like that! No other character has potential like that. There's just so much creativity in the- like, this, this character is just... Probably the freest... To just do shit with. And it's gonna take a lot of time to figure the character out. And time will tell whether or not he's, you know... Good? Once all that creativity starts being figured out, or if he's just not good enough to justify the effort in trying to, you know, keep track of what summons you're using, um, 
the spacing, the everything involved. But yeah, I would say, I don't, like, I think, I really do think Ginyu's probably the best designed character in this game. Oh, he knows! He knows! I say this every fucking time I see Yamcha. Does this person know how to properly juggle the level one into the level three? This man knows. I respect this dude. I don't respect this Goku Black play. <laughs> oh shit, he just gets the cross up. That's unfortunate. That's one of those things where like, it's probably, if this was offline, that probably would have been blocked. Oh my god, he did it again and it caught the sparking! Oh, that is such a dirty setup. Ooh, oh, if he had confirmed off of that, I would have absolutely 100% lost my shit. Holy shit, he can't kill him. I mean, he's gonna kill him here. He's just. Where was the super? Or wait, did he not get the juggle? Maybe? I, I don't know if I was. I wasn't really. I was, I was hoping, I, I kind of just thought it was a foregone conclusion that he was dead there, so I wasn't really paying attention. Maybe he didn't get the hard knockdown? I can't actually remember 100%. But yeah, that, I mean, that's the best Ginyu I've seen, 100%. But there's still a lot left on the table. And I want to see it all. These loading times, I hope they eventually pull it from software. I'm not like my suspicion about this is that essentially they have to they reload the entire lobby. Um, I want to okay. I want to see a Bardock. Only one match though. That's probably let me. What am I doing? Here, search for Bardock. I want to see a Bardock, but I want to make sure it's against somebody. Oh, here we go. Bardock wins. It feels bad that I gotta just toss the player that I'm following under the under the uh, bus, but I, that's what I want to see. What was I talking about directly before? All oh, right, I hope they pull it from software. It, it, their Bloodborne patch. Like initially when Bloodborne first came out, loading times were pretty obscene. This game doesn't exactly have the best loading times in the world. And like I said, my suspicion is that after the match, it's because it forces a reload of the entire lobby every single time. And so obviously that's going to take time. So it would be nice in regard to systems like this if it just threw you back to a menu that you could peruse. And then if you wanted to go back to the lobby, then it loads it then. Oh, this combo though! Good vanish. It's so strange. To be like, this is one of the worst parts about anime, is that both in Japan and here, and I assume other localization languages out there in the world. Okay, actually, I want to pay attention to this. I'll try, if I remember, I'll get back to it. Ooh, nice 2H! Oh, that actually looks like a really good move. He comboed off of it! I want to do that in the air. That actually looks like a good aerial reset move. Like something that you would want to maintain your double jump for, potentially. You sacrifice a little bit of combo damage, but then you can get a pretty solid setup afterwards. Wait, is Bardock mad short? It looked like Ginyu was about the same size as him, crouching. Bardock's mad small! What? Is he supposed to be that small? Did somebody fuck up? They couldn't tell how big the character actually was because they were designing him alongside Broly, so I was like, yeah, this looks about right. Just eyeballed it. Nice. Didn't fuck up the combo. Well, there are definitely plenty of people who would not uh, account properly for those extra hits from Birder. And they'd wind up dropping the combo. Man, that's so weird. It, that just it moves like that, really, where it just it freezes the game. Oh my god, he just got literally dunked.
It looks pretty, I mean, I like his moveset. It looks really flashy. I dig that. But he also looks super basic. Just like most of the Saiyans. Sitting on seven meters, that hurts. Okay, so as far as I know, then Bardock and Broly both have just a dash forward assist, which is a bummer. Because the dash forward assists in this game are like the worst, except for Yamcha's, because his is a multi hit dash move. So it's not quite as bad, but yeah, they're not very good overall. So no no threat whatsoever to Vegeta's reign of superiority over the assist world. Did he just cancel 2H mid-animation? I thought you at least had to wait until the animation was over. That's some silly shit. He needs a ground bounce off that. That's a good move, man. Ooh, eat that raw level three, but it doesn't matter because he's. Oh, it does matter. I forgot the level five. He dead. That was a lot of damage. That was sixty percent. Yikes. But yeah, he still has sparking. There's no coming back from that. Unless he just get hit by a bunch of raw super dashes. That's the thing. I have to admit. Well, he's gonna pay him back. You killed me with a level three. Let me let me return the favor. Mine's more important, though. But yeah, it's what, the one thing... I'm sure I've been wrong about plenty of things. Like, I remember talking early on about where I thought the game was going, where it was heading. Plenty of things haven't really changed. The meta, for instance, we're not leaning at all away from 16 Cell, Vegeta, Goku, Black Assist, Reign of Superiority shit that I was talking about early on. But the one thing that I was definitely very, very wrong about and that I hate that I was very, very wrong about it was the effectiveness of Super Dash. I thought that would dwindle and die out. But turns out, Super Dash is way too fucking good. I also absolutely love how every single time I bring it up, somebody always has to tell me that, uh... Hey, every single time somebody tells me, you're an idiot, Super Dash is totally punishable. No, no, it's not. <laughs> like, there's so, that's the thing that gets me too, is they're so emphatic about it every single time. I love when people are incredibly emphatic about something while simultaneously being incredibly wrong. It gives me great joy just to see that. But yeah, Super Dash is just so fucking good. It's probably, I think, the single most used tool that I have seen in competitive play. It's just. <laughs> I mean, it's a free end. Like, Sonic Fox talks. Anime players don't got no neutral. That's one of the reasons why. If you get a free end like that, why do you gotta learn neutral? You just call an assist, super dash. What you do, I'm in. Or you just wait until somebody's air What the fuck? <laughs> that looked mad weird. I'm pretty sure he vanished. And so the lingering hitbox just caught him. But yeah, that looked really fucking weird. Ooh, just round start armor. Wow, did that just cancel out multiple fireballs? Whoa. I don't know if that was my TV, something to do with the game itself. There was a weird sound kind of glitch right there. Not sure what happened. But yeah, kind of. It kind of looks like Broly's not too great against people that just remain airborne, because almost all of his moves just move him straight forward horizontally. I know he has an anti-air grab, so that's kind of a question mark in regard to that comment. Is how good is that grab? Holy shit, another guard cancel worked. Oh, that if that is indeed armor, that makes Broly's Super Dash the most effective one in the game. Because he'll probably he'll just power through a 2H, right? 
can't actually do anything about it. He's dead. Damn, that grab did a lot of damage. I mean, granted, there wasn't a whole lot of proration there because there were very few moves before, but that grab did a big chunk of damage. Oh, knockdown it is, but it looks like it'd be kind of difficult. He has armor on his command grab? Broly confirmed a better grappler than Tager. Hey, he had the Sparky Knot. Broly was about to blow through it. Where's the mix up? I wonder if he's expecting an arm move to just come out and he's scared of it. Is that just how. Ooh, nice! That should be a dead Broly. Um. Is that a TK move, or does he just jump upwards? Like, it, it, it lo almost looks like that he TKs it. But, uh, as far as I can tell, he probably just, that's part of the startup animation. Woo, that's new. I've never seen Vegeta's DP miss like that. Still not gonna die, thanks to Sparking. But it is gonna do a hefty chunk of damage to his blue health. So we'll probably guarantee that he dies in the next hit, but he fucked it up! Eh, it might not die since I started with two... two L's. Yeah, he's not gonna die from that. Sparking. It's still gone. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> but yeah, this other... He can definitely win! He has seven full meters! Boom! Probably level three on the end of it. Hard knockdown. He needs one mix-up, and he's dead. DP? Nope. He was too far away to potentially bait the DP. Oh, that's one thing that uh, I think is really. Str I've noticed a lot of people, tons of people, for some reason, kind of lean on backdash in neutral way more than they should like the amount of like honestly i feel like one of the things that i see people get caught doing the most is backdashing against moves like that that have a lot of forward momentum to them and i don't really understand why they backdash as much as they do because yeah it, it gets people I, I really do feel like it's one of the most significant causes of getting hit uh that i've seen period all right let's see All right, another, another Bardock, I'll check it out. I haven't seen Bardock's level three yet. Oh, I completely forgot that whole topic that I was gonna talk about. Super mad weird in regard to anime because like the pool of people that do voice acting for anime, both in Japanese and in English, is so small that it's just super strange to always hear you know, like multiple familiar voices. And so like the fact that Krillin is Monkey D. Luffy's voice actor is just kind of strange. That was a nice, nice super dash right there. Really cool. He caught the tail end of a reflect. Not a hundred percent sure, but this is a dead. This is not a dead Bardock. That was supposed to be a dead Bardock, but now instead, Bardock's gonna. Kick some cell bootay. <laughs> yep, can punish that. Super strange. The guard cancel. Punishable on block. Super dash? No. I don't get it. There's delay. I feel like that's the net play. Like, that so rarely happens in, um... Ooh, damn. Ooh, damn! Was that his level three? I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think he had that much meter, did he? I don't feel like he did. Just a different level one. Shit, what was I talking about before that? <laughs> Oh, the net play. 
Where like you get caught by an overhead and then immediately afterwards you get caught by a low. Like that just that almost never happens in offline play. But it is definitely a net play special. I think he had more hits of Vegeta's. No, that's definitely a level one. Oh no, he did the level one again. Okay, maybe I'm just looking at the wrong person's meter. That is a dead Android 21. This man is rushing it down. Eventually, Lost Soul is going to give up on Android 21. It's going to replace her with Vegeta. Just watch. If he starts needing, to, feeling like he needs to win tournaments, that's what's going to happen. And it's going to be a very unfortunate day. Down. One of the only true self-sufficient characters in, the, in this game, I feel, is Android 16. Android 16 and Cell. Oh yeah, that's definitely level 3. Just left a dead bo- Ooh, what are you dropping your combos for? Yeah, now he did. Didn't need to spend that meter, but it was better to do so because it ends the combo faster, gives him more time on sparking. God damn! Is he potentially dead from this? Nah, he's level 3, can't do that much. It's gonna do a big fat chunk though. He's gonna be very close. Eh, maybe not quite as close as I thought. Yeah. I thought he would be like one hit away. Good blocks. Oh, covered by Vegeta assist. Oh, he did. He not dead, he did. It always feels like DHCs do a little bit more damage, do a little bit more minimum damage than just the usual supers thrown out in the middle of a combo. I don't know if that's true or not, but it all I, like I feel like I'm always wrong in regard to how I feel how much damage a super is about to do when it comes off of a DHC, but not very rarely when it's used just solely in the co in a normal combo. Oh, he's using both blues now, alright! Oh. Wait, was he always using this team? I don't fucking know. I kinda do wanna watch the Beerus, but I also kinda don't. I wanna see more- I wanna figure out more Broly. I wanna get a better... Like, I still am not sure if that aura is exactly what I think it is. Oh, cool, he's using Broly here. Oh, hey, we got Broly against Bardock. Fuck it, let's do it. People still using Hit. I figured Hit would be dead after Sonic Fox has apparently dropped him. I don't know if that's true because there hasn't been a tournament since he got blown back by Goichi. But I do know that he was experimenting with various teams. I've been hearing things. <laughs> that's a pretty poor round start getting even poorer is this does this man even have okay never mind i don't think this dude oh he just noticed yeah somebody's controller's fucked up unfortunately broly's not very good at teabagging is he how do i do no not that how do i turn on inputs oh, wait what did i want to do all oh, right i wanted to see if there was a way to fast forward and of course there is not okay so the, let's just go ahead and dip on that one Good replay, guys. All right, you had your chance. We're going to Tatsu. Tatsu makes me sad. He's like the only Nappa player in the world, and I saw him at Wednesday night. Uh, I didn't see him at Wednesday night fights, but I saw him on stream at Wednesday night fights, and uh, his Nappa looked legitimately useless. I shouldn't say his Nappa looked legitimately useless. His Nappa was legitimately useless. He just, his, he, it just, it died every single time. It just came in, did no damage, and died every single time. And that made me very sad to see. The 
The dream of Team Big Bodies died before it could ever begin. Damn, just gets caught by an immediate jump for J.O. Good no tech. Does prevent too much potential mix up. That was interesting. Delayed is falling to hide the call of the assist. Confirm. Drop the combo though. That's gonna hurt. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Oh shit! That's busted. Hit by the overhead. That's another thing, but I don't understand why the proration on the universal overheads is as high as it is too. Armor? I couldn't tell if that hit just kind of phased through him, like his hitbox wasn't active yet. Because I kind of figured, like, given how armor-centric Broly is, that maybe his assist would have some armor. But, again, haven't really been able to see a good example of whether or not it does. And I can't test it, because he's a DLC character. For one thing, if I was a fighting game developer, DLC or not, I'd make them available in training mode. And that'd be very interesting to see. I would really want to see statistics based around like how that would drive sales. Would that wind up causing less people to buy it? Because I'm sure there are people who want to buy the character just to figure it out so they can deal with it. Potentially, like most tournament players would certainly do that. And then there would be plenty of people who would try it out and be like, ah, you know what, I don't really give a shit about this character, not my style. But then on the flip side, how many other people would wind up trying him out that would otherwise not have bought him, and then they wind up liking the character, and then they do. These are the kind of statistics I would be very interested in seeing, and stuff that I don't think anybody's ever really looked at before. I mean, nobody's ever done that before, to my knowledge, either. Jump the combo. You can, I believe, link after that uh, if you do. If you get the standing H launch into Key Blast, I think he can link a 5A afterwards. 5L. Alright, well, that's that. All the mysteries of the universe still intact. So I don't know. I know a little bit more about Bardock. So I don't know a goddamn thing about all my thoughts of what Broly's doing.